Hi there, I'm Robert Banks, co-founder of Build Direct, here with Matthew Dickinson. He's just going to take us through installing underlay and site prep for that underlay. Matt? So um, as we come into our next room here, uh, it's important that we make sure that the room's ready for the floor to come into. So the first thing we did is we swept the room. We got rid of all the debris. The last thing you want is something underneath the floor. You know, this being a floating floor, something underneath it, you, it's going to be uneven. You're going to uh, ruin the floor, the floor won't move correctly. So it's important that you get an underlay. Um, most underlays are two in one or three in one. We're going with the three in one here that um, has a sound deadening um, aspect to it. Um, because this is a two level house, they want to make sure that the living level under, underneath is as quiet as possible. So um, because we're on, on plywood here, we're not as worried about the, the poly layer. The poly layer on an underlay is to help prevent the, the weeping or the sweating of the concrete up to the bottom of your floor. There's always moisture in concrete, so you need something to protect against that moisture coming up from the concrete into the floor. Again, an underlay like this has, has this paper, this plastic here, that would actually lap over over the the other other piece and it just stops the sweat. Again, we're not worried about that. So my first steps, I'm gonna start over this corner here. And you see we've got a little bit down already. We're gonna line up our edges. We've got a stapler gun here. Just give it a quick pop. That's really just to hold it down while we roll it out. And just off we go. Roll down to the other side. You could, we could take this all the way through into this closet if we wanted to. It's not as important. Uh, I, I'm just doing two pieces. By the time it takes me to cut it, fit it, it's easier just to just have a seam here. So I always like to roll it up the wall a little bit, crease it down as much as possible. From there, get my staple gun. Again, this is literally just to hold it into place. It's not, it's, you don't have to do this, but um, if the underlays under roll tightly, sometimes it rolls back on you. Again, your knife, just give it a quick cut. Again, it doesn't have to be accurate. You can always cut it up after. Pull it off, and there you go. Your underlays installed. Matt Dickinson, Build Direct.